I just picked up the Revell Kenworth W900 dump truck. Been waiting for this for a while. I built it when it was out about 10 years ago. We're going to get into this thing. I'm going to show you what's all in it. And first, I'm going to give you a little bit of history about this kit and where it came from and how long it's been out. This kit actually goes back to 1992, believe it or not. Where's the time go? That's been quite a while. Actually, this started off as just a tractor back in 92. And then in 1994, they brought this kit out and the dump box was chrome. Then in 95, about the following year, they had this whole entire kit with the chrome dump box. They added a chrome pup trailer. Then in 2013, when I built this here last, it was the chrome box, it's the exact same kit, but chrome. Supposedly this is not chrome inside. I haven't opened it up yet to see. But this kit was out last in 2013. Here's uh, some pictures of when I built it last. It's a nice kit, easy to build. I've always wanted to come back out with this. And I almost bought another chrome one back then to dechrome the whole entire dump bed. But I thought, well, I'll wait. I had some other tractor trailers I wanted to build. And so I'm kind of glad I waited. Like I said, this one's not supposed to be chrome. The dump truck, I take it the uh, bed is not chrome this time? No, no, it would be chrome on here if it was chrome. Now, obviously, this one's out now in 2013. So, let's get this box cracked open and see what's all inside Okay, it. we saw the box art during the intro. Again, it's the Revell Kenworth W900 dump truck. Just came out, 2023. Side... And this is going to give the rundown of what's all in there. And they're saying the dump is not chrome. We'll find out. I said the last version was. And the back of the box. I picked it up at my local hobby shop, Scale Reproductions. Thank you, Scale Reproductions, for having this kit. Great hobby shop in Louisville, Kentucky, guys. Anyway, let's crack this thing open. It is disc sealed. Okay. Start off. That's what comes out first. Cabin hood. Everything on this kit's nice. Like I said, I built this about 10 years ago and, and really liked it. And this here part has been out for many, many years. Like we talked about in the intro. What else we got? <laughs> All right, we got our glass, our lights. That's nice and clear. There's the part if you want to make it a sleeper. We'll see if the sleeper parts are in here. Interior parts, gauge, the uh, instrument cluster, dash panel, looks very nice. Everything looks good. Okay, looks like we got our frame rails, rear ends, seats, more suspension parts, frame rail parts. Everything looks nice. Oh, here's another thing of lights. Don't want to lose that. Ah, oh, here we go. That's the part I wanted to see. And it is not chrome. Well, Ed said it wasn't going to be chrome when I asked him the other day. I saw Ravel at a model contest. Just go through these parts. This definitely beats not uh, de-chroming things. Of course, your cylinders for the uh, dump bed. Rails for the bed. Side panels for your bed. Front piece. Yeah, we don't want to lose him. really nice 
just as nice as I remember it. I'll tell you what, I, I wish they would just come out separately with this dump bed. I'd love to buy uh, three or four of these dump beds. Okay, there is some chrome in the kit. Here's the chrome we've got. Yeah, come off there. Of course, the grill and steps and wheels, horns, mirrors, tanks. Front bumper, exhaust, rubber mirrors or lights. Typical chrome. Okay. The engine. Some more suspension parts. Some mud flaps. Looking good, looking good. That's a nice kit, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm all pumped to do some trucks after being at the Mid-American Truck Show all week last month. The largest truck show in the United States. You want to see some uh, truck show footage, you have to go to some of my past videos and check out the Matt's footage. Got a lot of neat trucks there to give some inspiration. But everything looks really nice. Everything's crisp. Typical nice Ravel semi kit. Looks really good. I mean, even drive shaft looks really nice. Everything's looking good. There we go. That's the other part I was looking for. There we go. The outside of it. Looks nice. I like that. I like it so much better than the chrome one. And the chrome one was cool. I liked it back then, but this this gives you a nice option to paint it any color you want. Or if you want that aluminum look, you can spray it aluminum versus trying to dull down that chrome. And of course, the nice thing about this with is not being chrome, you take all your, your any if there's any mold lines or where you cut your tree, you can cut all that without damaging chrome. And if you, it just makes for a much nicer model. And I'm sure it helps the model company out. They don't have to chrome this tree or the other one. Looking good. Okay, got the tires. And they're all the same. Same Michelin. Look good. And... Well, we got the instructions and decals. Let's see what the decal sheet looks like. Alright. Got some company names here. It looks like we got four company names. You can choose it either in black or white. Same with the stripes, black or white. A reflective tape going which is nice it's a nice touch there's all those marker lights which is a nice touch also for the bed because those are all going to plop in right there for the canadian guys we got some canadian flags dash decals plates plenty of kenworth all your typical truck markings. Looks really good. Nice decal sheet. I like this decal sheet a lot. Let's check out the instructions. On the instructions, I'll just flip through it pretty quick. And if you want to see something, just put it on pause. Of course, you run down on what we've got. Parts tree layout. And here we're getting to building the frame. Suspension. Uh, come on. It's 
instructions look clear, easy to follow, broke down nicely. So it looks like pretty much anyone could probably build this truck. I do know it goes together quite well. You get a nice realistic dump truck when you're done. There's our steps. Working on the interior. Looking good, looking good. And our emblems. Got the tires and wheels. And it looks like the frame part for the dump body. You can just make this a tractor if you want. Tube to raise and lower the dump bed. Dump bed goes together very nice. I, I remember I was super, again, I was very impressed with this dump bed before. I'd love to get a, just a couple extra bunch of these dump beds. Put them in a parts pack, Ravel, please. I'm going to build this one. I'm going to bug them and see if I can get some extra beds or if they'll do a parts pack. Do you guys agree? Email Ravel and make that suggestion. That's the only way we can get things done, guys. If you want something, email Ravel and say, hey, how about this? And if they hear enough of it, they'll come out with it. That's what they say. That's what Ed said. Email them. Let them know. That is your Ravel Kenworth W900 dump truck. It's a great kit. Highly recommend it.